Let's start with the churros and hot chocolate. I need five ounces of dark chocolate. And I use a combination of milk and water. Three quarters of a cup of milk. Just one or two percent milk is fine. And the same measure of water, three quarters of a cup. I'll add a quarter cup of skim milk powder to my milk water. I need three tablespoons of sugar. I'll heat this over medium heat. Now I'm showing signs of some steam. So I can just add my chocolate right in. Oh, it smells so good. It almost smells like a dessert baking in the oven. You know, like a batch of chocolate brownies. Now that it's bubbling, what I'll do is just set this aside and hold it warm because it's time to make the churros. A churro is a Spanish or Latin American donut and it's made with a shoe paste dough. The French style of shoe paste is very egg rich, but when you're making churros, you want a crisp and light donut. So it's a little less egg rich, and instead of a combination of milk and water, I use all water. So I have one cup of water, and I'll add to that six tablespoons of butter, and I'll get that heating over medium heat. I need two tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, so I want to combine all these ingredients, let the butter melt, and let the mixture come up to a simmer. Now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna add my one cup of all-purpose flour. And I've got my heat on medium now. When you feel the dough pulling away from the bottom and sides of the pot, then you take it off the heat. Now what I like to do is actually mix the dough for a little bit to cool it down. That way, when I add my eggs, I know they won't cook. All right, now it's time to add the egg, which I do in three editions, just a little at a time, scrape down the bowl, and make sure you wait until the first edition is mixed in before you add the next. And there we go. Now I have shoe paste. shoe paste into my piping bag. Grab my cooling rack with some paper towel and it's time to fry. I have a pot with vegetable oil. It's only filled about halfway and it's heated to 350. When you've got the length you want, you just snip that shoe paste. Within seconds, you'll see them float to the top and they take about four minutes to fry up. There they are, crispy and golden. Let them drain for just a second. If you do want to coat them in cinnamon sugar, you want to do them while the churros are warm. I've got a bowl with cinnamon sugar, just regular granulated sugar with a little bit of cinnamon, or a lot if that's how you like it. I just give them a light little toss. I'll check on that hot chocolate. Still nice and warm. And the finishing touch, a little pinch of sea salt and just a touch of vanilla. Beautifully rich and thick, ready to serve up. You know what, it's been a long time since I've had churros and hot chocolate. So I'm going for a big cup of it. Oh, what an absolute treat. And look how dunkable. Mmm. Don't blink. That is going to be gone in two seconds.